Kyle, why did you choose Losing Ground? Again, I've never I heard this I did not choose you. this. Welcome to Kyle and Dave vs. The Machine, our video YouTube edition. This week, we're finding ourselves in 1982, Kyle. Our we first did it. film of 1982. Amazing. A better time. A simpler time. Where we could not care about homosexuals and let corporations run rampant. The wow. 80s. I don't know how to respond to that. So, what we're going to do, Kyle, The Machine, mm. they are the same person, uh, has true. selected Unfounded. a very interesting film. Is it a blockbuster? <laughs> Is it something directed by Steven Spielberg? No. It was a film that was lost. It was lost and recovered in 2015. Kyle, why did you choose Losing Ground? I've never heard of this I did not choose this because Kathleen Collins and her work has been brought by the Criterion Channel and been reevaluated in a modern context. And because it came out in 1982 in the festival circuit, just not picked up for distribution. I think that's why The Machine thought this would be a great first film for our new season. Yeah, The Machine. I don't know anything about it. So as we uh, do here, it was customary. We are going to react to a trailer. Lowest form of content. Uh, but this is what I always do. I like to go to the comment section, historically known as the best place for your mental health. I'm going to pick someone to pick on within the comments <laughs> section. Buck McDirt wow. is a commenter on YouTube. It doesn't cost money to join YouTube, Dave. From four years ago, writes, why don't the owners post this movie on YouTube? Let people see it. He yeah, thought of that, that comment. He went and tippy typed on his computer or like probably with his thumbs, hit post and was like, yes, yes. That was a valuable contribution. It. For the people. <laughs> for the people. Are you ready? I'm going to sync it up. Three, two, one, click. That book on Ooh. Oh, good. It's the finest analysis of being an outsider. Who's this outsider. gentleman, Dave? <laughs> I'm glad you found it. There are books that can make it. What's this sax going on in the background? <laughs> you know this is a very different never movie. Have too much sax. Yeah. Oh, heart. It's heartbeat. Oh no. Cinematic. Got you in a close-up, Professor. <laughs> you look just like Pearl McCormick. Oh, Scarf huge shame. reference. I feel like we should start wearing monocles. I know that's not what that is, but it's just, it needs to come I back. I say do it, man. Are we supposed to talk? I mean, there's some striking imagery in this. Oh, I think that's, uh... What's the purpose of this? I think that's Dwayne Jones. Low tie. Something to do with the relationship. He's in uh, the rock? Night of the Living Dead. Space for life. <laughs> rock. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. <laughs> Oh, that's a guy from uh, the the channel that we've had on our show before. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I'll probably double check that now that I said that out loud. Now he only wants to paint people. I am a genuine success. Do you want to paint me, Dave? No. I want to one day yell that I'm a genuine success, Kyle. Do you think we'll get there? I'm a genuine success. <laughs> When we get our 55th YouTube follower, we're a genuine success. <laughs> Listen, we've made a slow crawl, but we have some followers, so I'm excited about that. Yeah. I'm into this music, man. Uh, that's not his wife. He's not. I see some tomfoolery afoot. Adulterer. I like this uh, updated font. It's nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm uh, I'm down. Still going, Kyle. No, still going, Kyle. I, let it's it, done let for it me. Happen. I don't know what all you're right, talking about. It's go. done for me. I'm down. I'm actually kind of interested to see what this movie is all about. Yeah, just by this trailer alone, I don't know if I am. On the presumption we haven't seen it yet, that looks pretty low rent mm -hmm. and hard to understand what that's about. If there is not an alien in this movie, I am asking for my refund. I'm going to call Mr. Criterion and be like, listen, you promised me a great time. Aliens. And there was zero aliens also, in this movie. So, Mr. Criterion, why do you keep taking away my movies? You take my money. <laughs> And you keep taking away my movies, man. I have all these Hitchcocks in my oh. watch list, and now they're gone. Kyle, I have to watch so much Hitchcock in the next, like, four days. Frustrating. I have no time. Before we get too sidetracked, we have to watch it. It's supposed to be good. We'll see what we think. Anything else we normally talk about? You trailers? can write and comment on this video what you think about that trailer. Yeah. If you've watched this movie before, our podcast is available on every podcast channel. Last week, we talked about Tokyo Story. So if you want to go and see our thoughts on Tokyo Story, do that. So let's get on with the show. Bum, 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 bum. 